And how would you like this ship? Standard ground takes seven to ten business days. Or if needed tomorrow, we can overnight it for an extra 20 bucks. Well, I don't need it tomorrow. Well, you know, I'm the supervisor here. I, I, I can knock it down to 15 for you. Well, thanks. I'm tempted. I'm, I'm so impatient. Oh, hey, for me, instant gratification isn't soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what the hell? Ship it overnight. No problem. And if you have any other questions, call any time. My name is Todd Anderson. Hey, thanks, Todd. You're very welcome. Okay, so that's a go. Yes, sir. All right, I'll, I'll do it. I need you in my office. Okay. Hey, is this going to take a while? I just ordered from Thai Garden, and they're pretty fast. So you like spicy food. That's interesting. Close the door, please. Why is that interesting? Todd, we decided to restructure order fulfillment. Restructure how? Offshore the whole department. <laughs> that's a good one. I'm not kidding. Check out this spreadsheet. Any American job that's done on the phone or online, it's going overseas. The savings are incredible. <laughs> this is some kind of weird psychological test you're pulling on me, right, Dave? It's like a ritual hazing for the annual review. It's not quite time for your review, Todd. You've been working here coming up on four and a half years, not five. You can't outsource order fulfillment. <laughs> Half our catalog is patriotic knickknacks. Yeah, if a factory worker from Wisconsin calls the 800 number to buy this and gets a person in another country, he's gonna flip out. That's where the accent training comes in. You expect me to walk in there and tell everyone, I'm sorry, but your jobs have been outsourced. I'll do it. So I'm fired too. No, Don, not at all. But I manage fulfillment. Now you don't need me here. You're right, we don't need you here. We need you in India. Someone's got to train the new guy. And after that? We'll find something for you. Company's growing. We'll find something for you. Of course, you're free to quit. <clears throat> but you haven't vested your stock options yet. Quit now and you give it up. Plus your pension and medical, and you'll be out there in a bad job market with no unemployment benefits. Ask these guys in about 20 minutes. No. No, no way. No, I'm not going to India to train my own replacement. All you need to do is visit the call center, improve the minutes per incident, and make sure the new guy's up to speed. Where does this new guy get paid? Half a million. Rupees. <laughs> That's $11,000 a year to do your job. And it's eight heads for the price of one. What are you gonna do? Come on, just get their MPI down to six. No, I'm not going. It's just a short trip. You like spicy food? Dave, I'm not going to India. Sorry, I wanted a taxi. Uh, I want a taxi. No problem, sir. Okay, sorry, thanks. Let me just grab my bag. Thanks. Ow, jeez! Whoa, 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 no, no! Stop, 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 hey, stop! Hello, 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 hello. Go, go, go! Listen, come on, let's get this!
ਤਿੰਨ ਕਿਆ ਸੀ ਕੱਟ ਕੇ ਲਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਪਤਾਸਾ ਵਾਰੀ ਵਾਰੀ ਵਾਰ ਸੀ ਕੱਟ ਨੇ ਕਿਆ ਸੀ ਕੱਟ ਕੇ ਲਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਪਤਾਸਾ ਮਿੱਤਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮਾਰ ਗਿਆ ਹਾਰ ਗਿਆ ਵੀ ਤੇਰਾ ਹਾਸਾ ਮਿੱਤਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮਾਰ ਗਿਆ ਮਾਰ ਗਿਆ ਵੀ ਤੇਰਾ ਹਾਸਾ ਇੱਕ ਕੋਣ ਦੱਸ ਅੱਜ ਇੱਕ ਚਾਹੀਏ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਂ 100 ਰੁਪਏ ਨੋ ਚੇਂਜ ਨੋ ਚੇਂਜ ਇੰਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਨੋ ਚੇਂਜ ਓ ਇਟਸ ਓਕੇ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਰਿਸਕ ਕੀਪ ਦ ਚੇਂਜ ਰੱਖ ਲੂ ਯਾ ਇਟਸ ਫਾਈਨ 100 ਰੁਪਏ ਕੀ ਬਾਤ ਹੈ ਅਭੀ ਬਣਾਤਾ ਹਾਂ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਹਮ ਇਹ ਐਸਾ ਬਣਾਤਾ ਹਾਂ 100 ਰੁਪਏ ਦਾ ਮਸਤ ਗੋਲਾ ਆ ਬੀਚ ਇਹ ਚਲ ਬਕ ਬਕ ਤੇ ਬਕ ਚਲ ਬਕ ਟੋਡ I am Purohit Narsimha Acharya Viraj Narayan but you can call me Puru 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 come I'll uh, take you to the hotel please come please come sir sab hello sab please come back i am here ah uh, i am waiting for you ah uh, good night good night please good come. morning 100 rupees dekhega bye 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 baba like India? Bombay was a little crazy, mm-hmm. but Garpur looks different. I don't know, cleaner. Bombay is terrible. Terrible. Garapuri is very clean. Uh, Do you have a business card, Mr. Toad? Yeah, Todd. You can just call me Todd. That's fine. Okay. Executive Vice President of Marketing and Order Fulfillment. Very impressive. Not as impressive as it sounds. And what I really do is sell kitsch to rednecks. And now I have to train some other schmuck to do it. 
May I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, would you kindly be telling me what is uh, kids and uh, what is redneck and what is smuck? Uh, 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 kitsch is garbage that people buy. And redneck basically means farmer. Farmer. And uh, schmuck? Oh, that means like a nice guy. You're the person I'm here to train? I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. I'm so very fortunate to be learning the ways of American business from you, Mr. Toad. Todd, please, just call me Todd. <laughs> Your first trip to India? Yes. Some foreigners who come here do not experience it well. But I can tell, you are of a different breed. A very good traveler. Strong and ready for anything and everything. <laughs> it's very kind of you. Why do you say that? Most foreigners cannot eat gula without becoming very ill. <laughs> How far is the hotel? Your reservation is for the Gharapuri Palace Hotel. But that place is very lonely. I'll take you to Auntie Ji's guest house. She will take care of you better than your own real mother. Mm, no, actually, I think I'd like to just go to my hotel. I'm tired of traveling Please, for days. Mr. Toad, I insist. We go to Auntie Ji's. She has a very good garden, most excellent Indian cook, very hygienic. You'll not be lonely there, I'm telling you. Okay, fine, I'll check it out. Just make it quick. You're a schmuck. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> you must be exhausted all the free from Bombay. <laughs> oh, no, we're just here to look. Oh, it's okay. Uh, look, look, I have some snacks and tea freshly made, waiting for you only. <laughs> uh, what is your good name, please? My good name? Uh -uh. He's Mr. Toad, Auntie Ji, fresh from America. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Toad, how sweet. Come in, please, come in. <laughs> come, come in, come, come. in. <laughs> So, Mr. Toad, what does your father do? What is your salary? Are you married? Uh, no, I'm not married. Ah, you have a girlfriend. Hmm? <laughs> uh, I did, but uh, we broke up a couple months ago. Why break up? You should be married. Huh? Um, well, she wanted to start a family, and I wasn't quite ready yet. Not yet? Oh, my God. You're old enough to be your grandfather. What are you waiting for? Huh? <laughs> uh, just eat. <laughs> Very nice, fresh, absolutely. <laughs> Sir, you should not place the hand that has been in your mouth back in the food. <laughs> and uh, you should not eat with your left hand. Uh, in India, we eat with the right hand. Uh, left hand is uh, considered to be... Uh, uh, dirty, uh, dirty. Unclean. Unclean, unclean, yeah. Why? Uh, Why? Uh,
Thank you. That's great. Okay. That's good. But thank you. Oh, thank you. Work from six in the evening to six in the morning. Daytime in America. Doesn't that screw up your sleep patterns? No, 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 no. We are accustomed to the problems by now. Is it true that uh, when I'm manager, I'm going to earn uh, five hundred thousand rupees a year? That's what they told you. <laughs> because of my future salary, I am now engaged to Bhageshri Sasabudde. Bhagi who? Watch the. Oh, she's cute. She is more beautiful than Ashwarya Rai. I've loved her all my life. <laughs> I could never think of marrying her until Western Novelty hired me for five hundred thousand rupees. <laughs> Office to rent in Dharapuri, so we had to build one. Because of outsourcing, all the real estate in uh, Bombay, Madras, Bangalore, even Dharapuri is taken. So we had to build one. Please come. This here is the supervisor's booth, and uh, here we have the agent's cubicle. They're working very hard. Okay. It's okay. And uh, because of America, we have uh, different time zones. Uh, Seattle, New York, Chicago, and India also. Bro, what is that? Oh, oh this. Uh, this is our MPI monitor, minutes per incident. Uh, this is going to go up on the wall. This is the average time uh, our agent takes to solve the call, you know. What? Oh, oh, that, that is just a cow. Must have wandered in. One minute. Okay. Oh, hey, Oh, boy, sir. Hey, let's go out. Don't Don't worry, Mr. Todd. We are fully operational. We have the state-of-the-art computers, digital phone lines, optical mouses, everything. Hey, listen. Oh, boy, sir. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Mr. Todd, you okay? It's kind of a cramp. Okay. The gola. Oh god. One rupee. One rupee. One rupee. Not a good time. One rupee. Tomorrow. Only one rupee. No, I don't have a rupee. Please, please, only one no. rupee. That's all you can say. Hungry. Only one rupee. One rupee. One rupee. All right. One rupee. Leave me alone, all right? No, no, don't, don't touch. No, no. Oh. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Niche, niche. Don't touch. Bathroom, no problem.
No toilet paper. Uh, I'm Todd Anderson from Western Novelty, and I'm here to help integrate you into our business. Now, I gotta tell you, the center's numbers are nowhere near what they should be. And based on the customer complaints we've been having, it's a culture thing. Basically, you people need to learn about America. Now, it's all about bringing down the MPI. Things go faster if the customer feels they're talking to a native English speaker. But we are native English speakers. English is the official language of our government. You got it from the British, and so did we. We just speak it differently. I mean, sometimes our pronunciation is better. We say internet, and you say internet. <laughs> Fair enough, but that's exactly my point. I'm asking you to say internet. All right, next time you're on a call, try to listen carefully to the customer's pronunciation, or their slang, small talk. Try to learn from them. Learn about America. Sir. Yes, you are? Man meat. Man meat. Uh, no, man meat. Uh, what I want to know is, uh, what is small talk? Oh, uh, you know, it's like, so how are you doing today? And, uh, how, how's the weather in Arizona? You can talk about sports. Like cricket. You, all right, never mind, forget sports. You want to sound American. If anyone asks where you're located, just say Chicago, all right? Try that. Chicago. Hmm, okay, uh, when you make the ah sound, Sort of hold your nose to flatten the vowel, like Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> it's great. Uh, and if anyone asks how the weather is, just say windy. Yes, you are? Asha, sir. Isn't that a little dishonest? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm not in Chicago, I'm in Gharapuri. Look, when I was hired to do this job, I was told that I would be selling products to a customer on a telephone. I did not know we had to be deceptive. Well, a lot of Americans are upset about outsourcing. But, sir, most of the products they're buying are made in China. Uh, okay, we're almost back. Uh, we'll continue this tomorrow. Thank you. It says made in China on the box. It says so. Don't touch me. Don't get. Stay away from me. I'm serious. Good morning, Mr. Toad. <laughs> You've had a long night, huh? But you are looking like you have no energy. You must go to sleep. No, I will. Oh, first you eat. Huh? You're looking sick. So, Sheila, can I take you? Oh, no, thank you. I can't. Mr. Toad, you want to meet a nice Indian girl? No, no, thank you. I, I'm just, I'm really not interested. Um, are you homosexual? Excuse me? Um, you're liking boys, not Indian girls? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> ah, love, 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 love. Oh, God, no, thank you. I, really, I can't eat a thing. Uh, you must eat. You shrivel up into nothing. You're skin and bones only, huh? Maybe tomorrow. You know, I just, I need to get some air. Huh? Tomorrow? When is this class coming? 
It is coming presently, sir. Is the call volume always this low? This is low. Well, yes, obviously not routing all the calls here yet. Why is the MPI so bad? At 12 minutes per incident, we're losing money on every call. Bad? When I started, it was 15. I brought it down to 12. Bro, this place is a disaster. If we don't get it down to six, I'll be stuck in India the rest of my life. You're getting the MPI down. No problem. Don't say no problem when there is a problem. If we don't get it down to six, you'll never get your promotion. And you'll never get to marry what's-her-face. Whose face, sir? Your girlfriend, Baggy Swami, whatever her name is. Everyone, please talk faster and faster. Okay? Okay, what else? Yes, man, me. Uh, I do not understand item H403. H403. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of Americans wear these to sporting events. But why, sir? I, it's hard to explain. We just do. Yes. I don't understand the purpose of A221. A221. Uh, that's a burger brand. Uh, Americans eat a lot of beef, and some people like to burn their initials into their food with a red-hot iron before they eat it. Why? Uh, it's like a cattle brand. You know, the, the thing you use to burn a symbol into a cow with? No, in America, that's how you keep track of your cow, is, is branding. With a red-hot iron? Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> wouldn't the cow run away? Uh, oh, no, we only do it to baby cows. When they're you know, small enough to hold them down. Y yes, Asha? A suggestion, Mr. Todd. Go ahead. You need to learn about India. Hey, it's Todd. I'll be out of the country for a few days, so leave me a message and I'll... You have no messages. Are you still there? You have no messages. Perhaps uh, some rubbers, ma'am. What did you say? I mean, if you have a pencil, you need some rubbers, no? Okay. Who can tell me what was wrong with this call? It's not a rubber. It's an eraser. Uh, no, sir. This is a rubber. No, it's an eraser. A rubber means condom. Oh, oh you mean like a flat? No, they call it an apartment. No. It, a condom. Birth control. Does it work?
saw your numbers, you do realize you're not on vacation over there? Yeah, like I would come here for vacation. Unless you plan on taking up residence, you'd better get the ball rolling. Yeah, that's why I'm calling, actually. An MPI in the sixes is not realistic. I didn't say in the sixes, Todd. I said get it down to six. 659 is not six, it's seven. You need to get it down to 6.0. Are you kidding me? We had a deal. And our last Seattle agents go offline on Sunday. Expect a bump in call volume. Now, you know what a six means in this industry. It means anything below a seven. That's the definition. Don't you read your contract? We said get it down to six. I'm holding you to six. <sighs> Dave, you're a corporate slime ball. Watch it, Todd. Lose your stock options and you'll be living in a cardboard box. Dave. Gotta go. Julie? Hey, it's me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how you doing? I just want to check in, say hi. Oh, nothing. I just wanted to hear your voice. I miss you. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. Did I wake you? I know. I know. Is somebody there? How much would it take me to Bombay? To uh, uh, Bhagat Singh Road? Right now. No, no, sir. Bombay is too far. It's too much petrol. It will damage my car. It's impossible. Okay, 6,000 rupees. Don't sweat, I'm going to expense it. Okay, sir. 5,000 rupees, not 1 rupees less. Whatever. Okay, sir. My children will starve, sir. I will take you to Bombay in 4,000 rupees. Hello, sir. How may I help you, sir? Hi. I'd like two cheeseburgers. Oh, a large sorry, fries. sir. But we don't have cheeseburger here, sir. What? I thought this was McDonald's. Oh, sorry, sir. This is McDonald's. Get the Maharaja veggie burger. It's as close as you're gonna get. I came all the way from Garapuri for a cheeseburger. You know, they have a real McDonald's in Garapuri. Still can't get a cheeseburger. You know what India stands for, don't you? I'll never do it again. <laughs> you hear about the guy who outsourced his own job? Hmm. He writes code in San Francisco, makes 70 grand a year, so he hires a guy in Bangalore to do his job for 12 grand. His boss thinks he's telecommuting. He's got so much free time, he's thinking about getting another job just like it. We've got Indian doctors, reading American x-rays, lawyers writing briefs. I'm in customer service. Hmm. Me too. So how long are you here for? I have to get my MPI down to a flat six. <laughs> Not in India. I mean, unless you hire the accent neutrals away from me. All you can hope for here is an eight. I can't go home till I get a six. Mm, you better find yourself a wife then. <laughs> She'd call me Toad. What? My name is Todd. Everyone says Toad. 
Listen, uh, Don, just a word of advice. <clears throat> I remember feeling like you do. I was resisting India. Once I gave in, I did much better. I can't have you wandering off. You're supposed to be coaching these people. Maduri's having a nervous breakdown. Man meat hits on every woman who calls. And where is the glass for this goddamn office? Very sorry, sir. Very sorry. The glass is coming presently. What's all this? For you, sir, you don't look well. This food helps with the stomach, all filtered and clean. OK for you to eat, no problem. Pearl. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Let's take a look at the of color, changing of seasons. I think we can cross that alley. Don't worry. I have this. I'll protect you. Come with me. Come, come. Come. Very boring game. <laughs> Give me another. Happy 
Pioli. calls. You need a pen? Ah, take anyone you want. Sit. No, not all. Good. Oh my god, we must go here late. We can't go like this. No problem, I'll take care of it on the way. Come, come quickly. Sorry, somebody had to. No, thank you. I'm sorry we're late. Holy. Uh, uh, sorry. And thank you, Asha. Thank you, sir. Uh, before everyone takes off, I just, I'd like to call a little meeting. I want to apologize to all of you, uh, and especially Asha. She was right. I need to learn about India. Sir, there's no need to... No, no, wait, let me finish, please. Now, our first mistake has been trying to run this like an American office. So I want to ask you, how can we do things differently? What would make your workday a more positive experience? Yes, Sanjeev. Sir, uh, may I bring in my family pictures uh, from my desk? Yes, I bring pictures of them all. I want to see the whole family. <laughs> uh, what else? Krishna. Sir, may I bring murtis from my desk? Murtis? Absolutely. Yeah, whatever those are. I, I, anyone can bring whatever they want to make their space their own, as long as it doesn't get in the way of work. Yeah, Madhuri. Uh, sir, Puro said that uh, we must only wear Western clothes at the Western business. <laughs> Wear whatever you want. Uh, yes, I'm... What is your good name? I'm Rani, sir. Sir, would it be possible to get a discount on Western novelty products? Is there something in particular you were interested in? Sir, number D100, astrology placemats. You want those cheesy things? I'm sure we could get you a set for free. Uh, yes. What about the ceramic basket? Do you guys want this stuff? You like what Western is selling? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, here's what we'll do. I'll call the company and ask them to ship us a collection of the most popular items in the catalog. Whoever improves their MPI the most on a given day can take their pick of the merchandise. All right, this is a great job today, everyone. Thank you.
Oh, what's that? Masala. Rock salt, cumin, chili pepper makes it better. Ah. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh huh. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Ah. You know, when I was young, Holi was the favorite day of the year. I used to await it eagerly. Yeah. For me, it was Halloween. You know Halloween? The costumes. And oh, my yeah. mom used to make us these great homemade costumes. <laughs> mm. It's funny. Mm. I keep thinking about my parents. You miss them, of course. Yeah. When I'm home, I don't miss them at all. Because you see them. Not much. Hardly ever. You don't live with your parents? No. <laughs> no. No. They live in Yakima, which is about two hours away. But you see them every week? No. A few times a year. But why? They're so close. I don't know. Some things I don't understand about American life. You don't live with your parents. Strange. Another thing. You hate your boss. And you don't like this company. Hmm? Why not choose something else? Hmm? I don't know how to explain it. In my world, it just makes sense to work your ass off and go into credit card debt just so you can have that 50-inch plasma. You like the HDSI or DG Black? Which one? Um, they're both good. That's my family. It's impressive. <laughs> Asha, could you come here, please? <sighs> okay, here's the deal. You're the best we have, and I've seen you giving advice to the others. And after I leave, Pro's gonna need an assistant manager. Now, we have to get the MPI down to 6.0. Can you help us? Of course. You think she can do it? I think Asha can do anything. Congratulations on your promotion. Uh, you only have to step in on a call if someone's really in trouble. Pro, you wanna get her started? You know about this? Yes, sir. Yo, welcome, ma'am. And anytime you call us on this number, ask for me. My name is Manmi. Yes, ma'am, Manmi. Have a nice day, ma'am. Where's your novelty, Gar Puri? What the hell is wrong with you, Todd? You trying to bankrupt us? What are you talking about? Have you seen the MPI? I'm talking about this request to ship hundreds of our products to India. The agents can see what they look like online. They don't need to fondle them. Uh, actually, they do. It's an incentive, and they need to understand what they're selling. So promise them this stuff, all right? The say got held up by a shipping delay. It's custom. You got to think bottom line. Yeah, I am. That's why I want to introduce our products to a potential new market of a billion people. Are you there? I'll overnight it to you. It's working. 
Your incentive program is a very good idea, sir. I'm learning so much from you. I just can't believe you're so excited about this tacky stuff. Tacky? What is tacky? Oh, uh, uh, tacky is like... Oh, never mind. Now, I've noticed that almost everyone signed up for the incentive program except you. Don't you want anything? What would I do with this? I'm a vegetarian. Maybe it works with carrots. You know, Americans have more choices than anyone in the world. Why would you choose this? Actually, I got money red. <laughs> Follow the town. <clears throat> Hello. You know, sorry. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she had to walk into mine. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your lips together and blow. Shut up! Just shut up! You had me and hello. My mama always said, life is like a box of chocolates. I have one word for you. Plastics. Are you talking to me? Mm, no, okay, see, now it's not, are you talking to me? It's, you talking to me? Right, these are called reductions, and Americans do them all the time. Got to go becomes gotta go. Right, would he becomes would he. Yeah, jam those words together. Okay, try it again. Maybe with a little more ferocity this time. You talking to me? You talking to me? Wow, that's very nice. I, I believe it. <laughs> okay, who else is ready to go? Now we have something for you. What? You will do a dance from an Indian movie. You will be Salman Khan. Oh, God, sir. Dance, dance. Iron my underwear? Of course. Doesn't your mother? Yeah, I'm not sure what she's referring to because that product doesn't actually require batteries. Mr. Todd, Mr. Pugo, we have a problem. The shipment from Western Novelty has gone to the wrong city. What? Well, where did it go? They didn't write down the PIN number, so now they've sent the entire shipment to the other Gharapuri. Great. There's another Garapuri? Three hours drive, maybe six, depending on traffic. And you're going to have to take a ferry from there. It's an island? And there just happens to be a 114 MG road in the other Garapuri? Every town in India has an MG road. It stands for Mahatma Gandhi. He was the father of our nation. Right. Um, okay, can you take care of this? No problem. But first, I must sleep for two hours so that I can come back for the interviews of the new agents. And then I must make sure that my mother gets to the hospital. All right, never mind. I'll go. If we lose the incentives, everything falls apart. But uh, someone should go with you. If we leave now, we can be back before night. You want to go with him? Well, I'm the future assistant manager, right? You know, I'm pretty sure there's a painting of her in my room. I feel like she's following me around. Oh, that's Kali, the goddess of destruction. 
Why would you want the goddess of destruction in your car? Yeah, sometimes destruction is a good thing. She ends one cycle so a new one can begin. Why don't you ask her for something? Destroy something for me, so I'll understand. We have to um, get a ferry and Anil will wait here for us. Come. Oh my god, look. Her hat, look at her hat. That's our, that's our product. Western item D334. I've actually seen one of our customers in the flesh before. What's with all the tourists? Oh, some famous caves. Hardly feels like India anymore. I could do it, you know. Do what? Your accent. If I had to, I could do it. I'll take one of them cheese head hats. Yeah, 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 madam, no problem. We are having a cheese head. What size did you wish to purchase? You're not one of them outsourcers, are you? What's your name? Oh, my name is Larry. May I kindly be having your credit card number? If you're an American, what's our national bird? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a big vulture with a white head, yar. Let me speak to your supervisor. Certainly, sir. Hello, I'm the supervisor. How may I be helping you? You sound just like the other guy. Well, sir. Some of us do sound alike. There are over one billion of us, you know. <laughs> That's terrible. It's so bad. <laughs> I guess we could let him keep his table, but how do we get it back to the ferry? What's that? It's a temple. Temple for what? Uh, Shiva Lingam. What's a Lingam? Well, you know, the male part. Huh. Hey, Dot, 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 you're going in, take off your shoes. The, uh, the male part? It's a symbol of creation. Mm. And the, the female part? Yes, they go together. Mm. You see, Shiva was a very powerful god and he grew tired of the cycle of life and death and reincarnation, so he decided to give up the pleasures of life and he smeared his body in ash. Ash? Yes, and he didn't eat or drink or indulge in any physical pleasure. And this created a terrible fire within him. Well, sure. And it transformed him into a blazing 
lingam which threatened to destroy all creation. And the other gods didn't know what to do, so a yoni appeared, the symbol of the goddess, and she absorbed this terrible heat, restoring balance to the worlds and saving the universe from destruction. Wow. Close call. Best mangoes, good mangoes, chali Do you want a mango? Sure. Have you ever eaten a mango before? Mm. First time, this is great. Mango. Eat like this. Hello, sir. Uh, you needing a nice room? You need a room? No, taking the ferry. The ferry is not happening. I get you last room. Very good price. The ferry is not happening? Yeah, the uh, ferry is blowing up. Everyone is still here. And I get you a very nice room, sir. <laughs> right. Ferry blowing up. Sir, I get you last possible room on island for very special price. Come on, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, I just will take. Two standard rooms. No, sir, standard rooms. I'm very sorry, sir. Well, two deluxe rooms. Oh, unfortunately, sir. The deluxe rooms are already taken. We have only one room available, sir. The luxury suite? Oh, no. Luxury suite are not yet built, sir. But we have only one room available, and the foreigners are very happy, sir. Oh. Okay, that's good. Bhai sahab, nahi chahiye, Yeah, that's great. Yeah, thank you, sir. That's that's Just fine. Give him money. Uh, sir, that's that's enough. It's good. Thank Pass, you. No? Okay, thank you. Thanks okay. for everything. <sighs> well, this is incredibly. Awkward. Why are you surprised? Oh, this is my fault? Of course it's your fault. You asked Kali to destroy something. It's not a joke. She blew up the ferry and now we're stuck here. You told me to. You said sometimes destruction can be good. How can this be a good thing? How can I tell my parents I spent the night with you in the Kama Sutra Hotel? <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell them. You're standing downstairs at reception, that sleazy guy, and he's saying this room is not available and that room is not available. And you just say, oh. Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you say anything? I don't know how this country works. You know, I can't even talk to you with that stupid mango all over your face. It's not mango all over my face. It's all over your face. It... Is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. Did I get it? No. Well, I can't see it. <laughs> it... Help me out. I can't. Wow. 
my God. <laughs> no. Monkey pulls the turnip. No, that <laughs> that is impossible. Come on, let's try. No. Yeah, 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 let's try. No. What? You said I should learn about it. No. <laughs> Todd, no one must know about this. It must be a secret. Um, we stayed in different rooms in different hotels and nothing happened. Of course. I understand. Listen to this. Press that. <laughs> so now when I call you, you will have your own official Bollywood ringtone. It's part of your continuing education in India. Thanks. Uh, well, have a good afternoon, <clears throat> Miss Asha. I'll see you at work, Mr. Toad. Please go to line 15. We have a problem. Hi. Hi. This is an empty line? Yes. Well, hello. Very nice to chat with you. You said there was a problem? Yes, sir. The problem is I have to sit three feet away from you and I can't come any closer. Yes, that is a problem. Uh, perhaps we could solve that after work. I'm afraid that might not be possible. But perhaps if we leave separately and go to the market, we could meet there. Well, ma'am, I have to say, your perfume is driving me crazy. Is there any way we could expedite this order? If I may correct you, sir, it is not perfume. It is cardamom. We live next to a spice merchant, and he grinds cardamom all day. It gets in all our clothes. I like it. I'm glad you like it, sir. You're lucky he doesn't sell garlic. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, I am, sir. Neighbor's wife is buying cabbages over there. Come this way. I think we're okay now. <laughs> Don't touch me, not in public. But I can help you down the stairs. <laughs> The MPI is almost down to six. I have to leave soon. I know. Puro told me. You ever think about living in the U.S.? I would miss my parents. It would be too hard. Have you ever thought of living here? <laughs> here? Um, yeah, I would, but I, I just, I just, I think I'd miss my hot dog toast for too much. I'm very close. How close? Oh, I can't really go into it. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Hey, come in for some tea. No, I can't. Not for your stay. People might talk, no? So what if they talk? I should be more careful. I can't be seen with you speaking like this. 
Like how? Intensely. Oh, God. You're a free woman. Why can't you speak intensely if you want? Why do you worry so much what people think? Because I'm engaged to be married. Engaged? Yes. <laughs> How long have you been engaged? Since I was four years old. Our families have known each other for generations. His name is Ashok. He has a very good job. He's very polite. He'll be married in July. Do you love it? Not yet. I can't believe this. I just can't believe that someone uh, as strong and smart and as opinionated as you would settle for an arranged marriage. I learned to love him. But what about your right to choose for yourself? My parents met each other on their wedding day. They love each other. Uh, to me, that's crazy. Some people would say America's 50% divorce rate is crazy. Will you tell Ashok about us? No, of course not. No one must know. So what do you call this, what you and I are doing? Holiday in Goa. What? It's something my friends and I say. A friend of mine, Priyanka, she fell in love with a boy one month before she had to get married. He was a boy from her school. So she told her parents she was under a lot of stress and she had to go for a holiday in Goa alone. So she and the boy went to the beach. They had three weeks together. And she came back and got married. Huh. So I'm just your holiday in Goa, huh? Just my only holiday in Goa. Sorry. Sorry. <sighs> All right, so where can we go to be alone? Shake my hand like a business person and go inside. Uh, it was a pleasure talking with you, Miss... Uh... Bhat Vadekar. You want me to come over? Uh -huh. Aja.
नमस्कार See our numbers? No, I was traveling. So you need me to go through them with you? No, I need a ride. A ride? I'm at the train station. I just got here from Bombay. It was a damn nightmare. <coughs> Get over here and pick me up. Wait one minute. Looks like a storage unit. You get what you pay for. What's with the music? Probably a wedding. Dave, why are you here? What kind of manager would I be if I didn't drop in on the field operations every now and then? You don't trust me? Of course I trust you. Just want to see it with my own eyes. All I'm getting is a bunch of numbers, which look good. Some might say too good for three weeks' work. You think I'm rigging the MPI? Relax. If I walk in and see two dozen people generating an MPI in the sixes, I will be a happy man. After you. Bro, what the hell is this? Uh, it's the water coming from the farmer next door because of irrigation. Irrigation? Uh, that is when uh, water is flooded on the crops. I, I know what that means. Uh, water is coming from everywhere. Here, there. Uh, nowhere to go. A uh, big problem. What to do? We're down to 10 working stations. Now eight. Oh my God. I am going to shred your passport. Relax, Dave. It's no problem. No problem? How can you say no problem? What a problem look like, dog. It's no problem. We're going up to the roof. The roof? People, we're going up to the roof. We're going to rewire this whole place in the next 20 minutes. It's a nice night. It's dry up there. We'll bring up the workstations, run a new main power cable. We're going back online, upstairs. That's impossible. Maybe back in the States it is. Anil, get the car. I'll be right back with the consultant. Consultant! Bro, 
Bro, this is my neighbor. He's gonna help the rewiring. Okay, I'll show you. Consulting? Yeah. See? No problem. Oh, yes, I am sincere. Look, I do not care what you look like. You have such a lovely voice and personality. Remy, marriage proposal is not small talk. I think she's the one. Not tonight. But don't I'm in love. As long as she buys something every five minutes and you clock it as a separate incident, you can say whatever you want. Thanks, Todd. Elizabeth. Wonderful news. Uh, we can speak all night. Uh, I mean, all day. Yes, sir. No, sir. Maybe, sir. Uh, quick, quick, quick. It's a supervisor demand. One second. Hey, Kumar. Thanks. Hello? You gotta be kidding me. I'm buying a freaking American Eagle from a company that's supposed to be in America, and, and I get India? I understand that you're upset, sir. No, you don't. You don't understand. Last month, I lost my job at the plant where I worked for 22 years because the whole operation moved to Mexico. My brother had to leave town because there's no job. I know how you feel, sir. No, you don't. You have a job. Sir, please don't hang up. I have a solution for you. <sighs> what? See, we understand that many Americans are upset about outsourcing, so we have located American-made versions of all our products. If you have a pen, I will give you the website of an American company that makes an eagle statue very similar to ours. Same size, same materials, only theirs is made 100% in America. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. But uh, is, the, is the price about the same? No, sir. Theirs is $212 more. $212. Sir? Yeah, all right. Um, just tell me yours. Thank you, sir. May I have your credit card number? All right, ma'am. Let me just check that with my supervisor. Okay, this canoe should be overnight at no extra charge. Right. Anything else? Okay. Thank you for calling Western Novelty. My name is Gaurav. Nice today. Well done, everyone. Thank you. Oh, by the way, you broke six. Congratulations. <laughs> you guys are amazing. I want to see you all at the Lotus. Hey, you feeling okay? I got swallowed a live squirrel. Oh, uh, don't worry, it only lasts a week. Uh, look, some of us are going over to the Lotus Club to celebrate. Why don't you come with us? What's the Lotus? It's like an after-hours club for call center workers who get off at 6 a.m. Oh, uh, you know, it'll be fun. You wouldn't like it. Hang on, I need to talk to you. Uh, we can talk tomorrow. No, you're right, there's another reason I came here. I need to wipe our proprietary data off these hard drives before we pull out of India. What are you talking about? Don't tell me a cheap bastard like you is going to move fulfillment back to Seattle. No. China. We're running an existing call center there already. They go online tomorrow. China's the new India. 20 heads for the price of one. What are you going to do? I do have something to say. Unfortunately, it's bad news. I just found out. 
I don't know an easy way to do this. Uh, Western Novelty has decided to move order fulfillment to China. All of your jobs have been outsourced. Don't go to work tomorrow. It's over. Mr. Dave is wiping the hard drives right now. You get a month's severance pay. That's it. Guys, announcement. I am, I am engaged to Elizabeth Watson of Orange, New Jersey. Why are they happy about this? They will be. It doesn't matter. You've trained them to a point where they can get a job anywhere. Microsoft, Dell, Office Tiger. They will get a job in a week. And with severance pay, they can have some fun. So you can get another job too? Management is different. And I'm not young anymore. If I'm lucky, I'll get a job. But that might take a long time. Bhagishik's parents will hear this and she will marry someone else. Oh, what's the hurry? Astrology. Her moons are lined up. Auspicious time. She must marry this year. And now I don't have a job. I'm so sorry. I must leave India. What? Why? I will die if I see Bhagishik walking on the street with a new husband. Any consolation, I'm probably fired too. I'm sorry. You're a good boss. Asha, sorry. Oh, listen, I'm not concerned about the job. I'm more concerned about my novel. You what? I'm writing a book in between calls at work. And I saved the copy on my hard drive. I don't want Dave to erase it. So can we go back and save it? Yeah, I guess we should. I think we should go immediately. What's this book of yours called? Holiday in Goa. Yeah, that was great. I almost believed you myself. I think maybe you should Start. write a book called that. Yeah. No time for small talk. Where can we go? Gaurav gave us the key to his place. It's okay, he's a friend and I can trust him. We can be alone together. We have two hours. Okay, I have to ask you something. What is that? <laughs> it's a bindi. It's your third eye. It's the eye with which you see the most important things. Sometimes two eyes aren't enough and they need help. But you have already been my third eye. I, I don't know. Well, my father is an assistant manager in a phone company and my mother comes from a small village. A girl in my position has her whole life mapped out in front of her. Everything I've done, I've had to fight for. Asha, you can't go to university. Asha, you can't work in a call center. What would people say? And what you said, it was the first time I'd ever heard anything like that. What did I say? Asha can do anything. I always wanted to believe that, but until you, I didn't think it was true. I hope Ashok sees it. Well, he'd better, because if he doesn't, then I'll leave him and I'll come to the US and take away your job. <laughs> God, I'm gonna miss you. You 
meet someone. Mm, if I do, she won't smell like cardamom. Rub some on her and pretend she's me. She won't have your eyes either. I wish I could meet someone exactly like you. Well, almost exactly. Almost? Someone as beautiful as you, and as smart as you, and as funny. But? But who's not afraid to try monkey pulls the turnip? I can do anything. Hi, Toad. How are you? Good. Uh, my friend, Sudha. Uh, uh, my guest, Toad. Huh? <laughs> Toad. Uh, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the data's uploaded. This hardware is not worth shipping to China, so we're just going to leave it here. If there's anything you want, other than that plasma, I got that covered. You can take it. Just do it, Dave. Vest my options and let me go. You don't need me anymore. We don't need you here. We need you in Shanghai. You're insane. Someone's got to train the new guy. We have been acquired by the largest direct marketing firm in the United States. Western is just going to be a small part of this. The new company is going to outsource 4,000 call center jobs. We need a VP to manage it all. I showed them your numbers, and they want you. This is no joke. It's a great job. You get all the benefits you have before, plus a fat raise. I'm not going to China. And you get to keep stock options as opposed to losing them and being unemployed. No, thanks. Someone's headhunting you. All right, we'll beat their offer, whatever it is. Did I mention your stock options will double in value? Maybe triple. And you don't have to live in China. No, all you have to do is get the call center up to speed. Then you visit every couple months. You get first class travel in a corporate apartment that's yours in a high rise overlooking the harbor. What do you want, Todd? Just tell me what you want. You can't quit. Then you'll have worked your ass off here for nothing. You can't quit, Todd. Who am I going to send to Shanghai? Hurry, it's morning. Mrs. Poodle. Congratulations to both of you. Enjoy the view of the harbor. Todd, you saved my life. You saved mine. And don't worry about running the center, it'll be great. Break a leg. Break my leg? The expression basically means good luck. Thank you, Todd. I hope that both your legs get broken. I'll never forget you said that. Bye. Thank you. 
Hello? Thank you. 